Hello my warriors, how is it going and welcome to another episode of Rogue Tag, the beginning of a new series, we are still in it and I actually customized my company a little bit. We are Terra Bird's Talons now and we have a nice like blue, white, yellowish pattern, uh, you will see it later. Um, what we want to do now is uh, obviously we want to rebuild our max, our Kintaro takes 16 days, holy macaroni, that is a lot of days, oh my god. But yeah, uh, we also have another thing here in our mech bay, which is a... Uh, where is it? It is um, Chameleon. That Chameleon is actually quite nice. I do like it in terms of hard points and in terms of, you know, it's a 50 ton mech. It is bigger than what we have before. Um, I would say this guy will f probably find its way into our lands. <sighs> it's another seven days to add now. I don't want to do it though. You know what? We're gonna bench the guy. We are not gonna use it yet. I will, however, take the lasers out. Uh, actually, I think we're gonna strip that thing completely. Completely. Yeah, hold up, hold up. I just made up my mind. I'm not gonna build this yet. I don't want to invest the 20,000 and I don't want to invest the seven days. So we're gonna click the refit button again and we're just gonna strip the equipment from it. Um, because I think I want the stuff on another mech and that only takes us 40,000 in no days, which is fine. Um, we're gonna keep it in a disrepaired status just because we might find something better in the next few missions. Therefore, I'll, I'll leave it there until I'm completely confirmed that I want to get this guy on the battlefield. Now, a thing that we can do is the following. We are currently... That's the chameleon. I wanted the waka. Uh-huh. Ah, uh -uh. give me my wakaroni. There we go. So, click that, and um, yes, we are currently running an extended range large laser on this guy, which is fine, absolutely fine. However, right now, oh yeah, I thought we could drop some cooling and get a large pulse in there, but we are running the chameleon. Mmm, the extra heat is gonna be a problem. Well, well, well. Do we just say no to these LRMs which jam all the time? Man, I wish I had another energy hardpoint here. This thing screams for missile weapons. Absolutely. Do we have ammo for the streaks? We do not. I would have maybe run streak 2s instead of the LRM 5s then and, and drop the ER large in favor for a, um, a large pulse laser because it just has more accuracy and that's what we need early on. Uh, I don't feel like I can change anything. I feel stuck in the build. I really do. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna leave it as it is for the moment. The fire starter is gonna get some love as soon as it's coming out of repair, though. Which is now. It doesn't take a long to rebuild that thing. Um, yeah, the reason for it being that we want to make the guy definitely better. It's not doing a lot right now. And it's one of our main mechs on the battlefield. And yes, we could do it with the chameleon instead of the fire starter, but um, let me go ahead and, and do a thing, shall we? Um, the flamers are not really good because we we need to be in point blank range with those and they are not really kicking. So what we are doing now is the following. I'll put the heat bank in the mech so we have a bit better cooling. A little bit. The radical heat sink kit. I mean, this is what we want, right? This is what we need. With that, we have no heat problems whatsoever. Nothing at all. Uh, it's a double heatsink kit, so we need this, and then we need two doubles. Like this. Alright. Okay. Negative 34 heat delta. Ah, screw it. Screw it! I'll put medium lasers on the guy. Or... Yeah, we need to go medium. We have five tons left. And I think I want to keep the jump jets. So, which medium lasers um, do we take? The pulses are nice, like the evasion ignore, like the accuracy. It's a two-ton investment. For 35 damage and 18 heat. I really feel like we want to get the uh, regular mediums in here. We just slap all of them on the mech. So we actually have some decent firepower. There we go. And still negative, uh, yeah. So, we are not putting the heat bank here. We're gonna put it somewhere else then. Um, heat delta is 20, uh, 24 still, so one more. 
One RE could be a thing. Or more armor damage? Seems good. It's an opener. Alright. Okay, so negative 12. That means we can mitigate the jump heat. Guys, this mech has been has become so much better all of a sudden. There's peel and stick um, armor as well that we can put on the mech. Endo steel would also be an option. It's really cheap on a fire starter, to be honest. You know what? With that, give it the peel and stick. Let's go. On the side horses, I'd say. Because side horse destruction means... Ah, wait. Does it mean an injury all the time? I wonder. I do wonder. We can put it on the arms as well, so we would lose them less often. Gives us extra 8 armor as well as a bit of self-repair, which is negligible. It's only 2 armor installed uh, in the installed location per turn. Whenever we take damage, we re-repair 2. Um, it's not every turn. Mm, I think it's fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. So, that being said, we still have some... Mm, we still have some capacity here. That means we're gonna fill it up with jump jets. So our little guy is way more mobile now. Oh, we are overfilling. Cool. Summon the legs, I guess. There we go. So one ton. One ton is what we got. Could upgrade the leg armor slightly. There we go. What are we doing with the last ton? We still have another uh, energy hotpoint here. Is the fire starter getting good all of a sudden? <laughs> what? Oh my god. Do we then take the medium X pulse for a bit more accuracy? I think volume of fire is okay. The intake laser is actually quite nice. I do like it. It, it only generates 4 heat, but it also deals only 20 damage compared to the 25. Compared to 9 heat? Yeah, and 25. So I, I really feel like these are good lightweight um, weapons that you can just stack easily. So an additional 4 heat. We have a negative 8 heat per turn. That's good because again our jump heat will add on top of that. This is 3 jump heat per jet. Um, that's good. I like this. All of a sudden this guy is getting beefy. Could even go Pharaoh. If we want to push it even further. It's another ton. Is there anything we can do? Do we have a support system? We have a tag, right? I mean... I mean... Yeah? Sure. Let's go. Oh, fire starter. Uh, how do we do this? Uh, one less on the, the back, so we have even numbers on the legs. I think this is it, my friends. Look at this guy. Um, all right. But a little bit of extra equipment uh, would make a difference, right? Ah! <laughs> cool. So, fire starter, good now. Mm, also, fire starter, 13 days. Uh, that means we have to get into another month, but that's fine. Because I'm actually looking for another duel here. So let's see if we can find one. I would say we're gonna take the Waka out for a spin if we gotta find another duel. Because uh, that thing is ready to go right now. Let's go, command center. Let's see what we got. There is a duel. There are two, two, two duels. Yes. Yes, please. So, um, again, money doesn't matter a lot here. So we go all in with the salvage, even though it is random salvage. We're gonna get a little bit more reputation for the Free Worlds League. And we'll take the Wakaroni, uh, drop everybody else, and deploy. All systems nominal. We're playing in the jungle. We have daylight, broad daylight. All right, let's go get some cover, get in there. And the cool thing is we have memetic armor, we have stealth, we have ECM. We are well protected, but that's a freaking crosscut. Is it a double? Oh, the double chainsaw? Oh no. Oh, he's coming close. It's the opposite of what we want. We are a long-range build. I was setting up for being able to shoot the enemies while they are not able to see us. Um, hello, Mr. Cut. That is not okay. Ugh. Okay, so we, we need to we need to play our game, which is uh, basically nothing. Ah! All right, we run away. He might decide to go somewhere where we can hit him. Uh huh. Chameleon LPS, please help me. Don't, don't, no, no, damn it, ah, 
All right. He hit us. Now the chainsaw comes in. Huh? Is it? No. All right. A mild hit. A very mild hit. So what we're going to do is we're going to counterattack him, obviously. And can we please get rid of these? Thank you. And uh, shoot a precision shot. I guess. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Take that. You are unsteady now. Actually, not bad. Alright, he wins the initiative. He's running, and that for a good reason. Cool. So, we can use our range to our advantage now. Okay, Auto Cannon has a decent hit chance from here. Oh, that's the back shot, uh, the back shot I want. Hmm... I will give up a bit of accuracy for the, the the ability to shoot him in the back. I cannot try to crit his gyro or engine or whatever. Alright, here he comes again. Okay. Is he gonna shoot? He is. <laughs> that little guy. He's terrifying. Because he is so nimble. Alright, we also have that size difference penalty. Um, oh, this is just a punch. Kick is better. Alright, let's go down here. Well, we miss. Sure. I think this is a game of chance that we are playing now. And we whiffed it. Uh, he has 8 evasion, come on. We need more evasion ignore and everything. We're also unsteady now, so his attack is gonna probably matter. So, I, I feel like this guy has the hit and run doctrine. He's trying to always come in and then get out again. That means we're going here. Hello. I should shoot standard ammo as well. Ugh, full miss. Gotta do something about these jams as well. It's not okay. In general, I think the Waka needs way more upgrades. I would, in an instant, drop the medium or the, sorry, the large laser and upgrade those missiles to 15s or something. Just streamline the build. All right, in we go for another kick attack. 32% is not nothing. It's a one and three. And we did it. It's the other leg though. Oh, oh, there we go. Bam, cross cut down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we had combat superiority here. We had the stealth and everything. It was, it was good. But our long range with the minimum Mission distance problem was not easy to, to manage here. All right, good. Thumbs up to you. Very easy mission. We're gonna get some goodies out of this. Uh, it, we will obviously play another longer mission as well, like a regular good old battle or like a blackout or something. Uh, it'll come. It'll come. But for now, we're gonna take the spoils of war and we're gonna bring them home and hope that there's still something left of the crosscut that we can salvage. If there's only like one mech part and a medium laser, I'd be very sad. All right, here we go. Minimal damage. Oh yeah. Ooh. You say medium heavy improved la uh, medium heavy improved clan laser? I say thank you. It's a bit hard to manage it heat wise though, but hey, it's good. And we got the chainsaw, which might be a thing for my friend the fire starter as well. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Okay, so um can we can we take Everything? Uh, actually, just to make sure. We will get everything anyway, so we negotiated for seven and we get six here. It's fine. Okay, so we oversold for one. Does it matter? Nah. I like my opportunity cost that I have to pay here. It's okay. So, there's a duo duel as well. I mean, we can bring the, the Wacker again and we can bring the Kintaro and I would say it would be a great combo because the narc of the kentaro combined with the lrms of the of the waka is it's probably a good idea but when you think about it our our waka is a 55 ton mech right now and it runs an auto cannon 5 an ear large laser so we have what 45 damage and 40 damage um and then we basically have an lrm 15 that kind of cycles through its jams and only a, like a third of it will always shoot um it's not a good deal it does not it falls behind in its potential so much but we don't really have any other options right now, so that's kind of also a bad thing. Maybe I should drop the missiles and just go for the uh, the large pulse. I don't know. Kind of feels bad. So, fire starter up. You up. 
Uh, ship upgrade is done in five days. We need the next mech bay so bad. Uh, actually, hold up. Ooh. So yeah, actually, I'm gonna do it this way so that we get into the dual duel a bit quicker. There we go. Okay, so we are ready for the duel again. Let's go to the command center. Hold up, we are in the early game, right? So we should check barracks a bit more often. Super important. We need to mitigate the no sensor penalty. That gives us a massive negative six to hit. So tactics is crucial early on. I think even more than gunnery. Uh, having these kind of sitting at six is fine. Then you can think about other things. So we're gonna go with the good old... It's a tactician. Removes one bar of stability damage when reserving. I've never really played around with that, but it is good. Plus one advanced sensors. I mean, the advanced sensors and initiative is always the same. Do we want more sight and sensor range, or do we want the stability thing? Both is good. At some point, sight and sensor range doesn't matter too much. But stability does. I'm gonna go cautious here. Ha! Ah, look at me. Look at me going another route. Alright. So there's that. Chronic. Get some things as well. What, what are you even? You're a mech warrior. Oh, I, I thought... Oh, wait, no. It's military that I was thinking of. Uh, evasion ignore and max evasion is, is nice. What's naive? Overly trusting and innocent about the harsh realities of the world. So that's relevant in an event. Interesting. Uh, so you're just reckless, basically, in terms of, like, real uh, important things. Evasion ignore and max evasion. Mm. Your evasion ignore is massive. It's really good early on. So we also want to make sure that you hit stuff. I think you matter here. Tactician. Okay, there we go. So, who else is there? Dragon66. You're not really one of my main pilots currently, so I'm just gonna give you something. Alright. Um, Harold, same thing. Lafay. Oh god, your gunnery. Yes. Oh, put it up to four. <laughs> it's gonna matter so much. Lafay was our fire starter pilot, correct? And then we got Visla. Visla. I'm gonna also give you cautious. Sure. And yes, I have some experience still over, but uh, I wanna push gunnery as the next thing to do. All right, and there's yeah, Yukiana is also a th she's good. She's all right. She has uh, the assassin perk, which I probably want to make use of later. She's brave for resolve generation. She's actually quite good. Military for the recoil and OP accuracy. Um, what's federal? Okay, it's just federated sons. Okay. Um, yes, so the assassin perk is quite good. Assassin with military, like offensive push accuracy, gives you. Uh, more offensive push accuracy, obviously, and then a plus three from here. She's really good for targeting individual components. I need to train her. I need to bring her on the battlefield as an active member of the squad. So, we need tanks. That's it. We need to be able to drop more units. Can you can you do that? I mean, Terra Bird can. Yuki is only able to run, uh, huh, Max? You are able to run everything. That's pretty good. Except for lamps. Sure. Alright, so that being said, let's go ahead and play the next mission. We're going to the command center once again. It's a half scale mission, I know. A little bit of farming here. Can you judge me? Hmm. We are playing against two enemies. And yes, we are playing against Marek, but I don't care. Duels are a fantastic way to get value, so let's do it like that. Get Terra Bird into the Kintaro and get ready to go. Cool. Second mission of the day. I see a Locus and I see a... What's it? Another Chameleon? Is it a Chameleon? Um, I don't know exactly, but we'll check it out. It is a Hermes. Oh, an Energy Hermes with 16 evasion. Oh, man. Did they upgrade the uh, spawn protection even further? <laughs> it is crazy, man. All right, let's get into a position. Let's get into cover, get braced. And we seem to have um, very bad weather here. Let me quickly check the conditions before we... Before we get into the next uh, phase here. Hurricane! Oh, that. Additional 12 heat per turn. Sinking. Uh, so, negative 12. Um, sensor range and visibility 70% of the normal. All units gain 3 defense. Uh, 
Okay, okay, okay. So getting that Locust down is gonna be a problem. But hey, it also applies to our guys. You are running through rough terrain. Hmm. Look at that. I will reserve this. I'm not gonna go in. Let them come to me. Hello. Yeah, this way we can punch them. Or kick them. Cool. Three energy locust. So what are you? Double medium, one small laser. 19% to hit. I don't think I want to give up my own protection, though. Give the Hermes a turn. He might be the better target. Sure. Maybe he doesn't get seven evasion this time. Again, rough terrain. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's a lot of medium lasers. Still has seven. And he's now in cover. Ah. Okay. So what about a nice point blank attack, huh? It's kind of bad. <laughs> it's kind of really bad. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. In that case. Locust, I'm sorry. I'm gonna attack you, little guy. Also, I, I need to reorganize my default weapon setup. So important, man. Maybe we get lucky. One in five to hit the Narc. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. What's your melee? 18. Uh-uh. Not gonna happen. I think this is as good as it gets. We go precision ammo, as if that makes a difference. It does! We like them! Hey, look at that! Locus down! Cool. That's good, because this guy could be a nuisance, also kind of kicking us and making us unsteady or something. So now... No, what are we doing? Let's get into the mud. No. Where would we go? I think we need distance to the other guy, to the Hermes. Only one evasion? Ah! That's two evasion. Let's get two. I mean, we are stealthed. We should be fine, right? I think we double legged him. Yeah, that was a good shot. That was fantastic. I will wait for Hermes again. Maybe he's making a mistake, not generating that much evasion this time. Ow, yes, 75 damage, it hurts. But hey, he's down to four. So we have an actual, we have an actual chance to hit him with the Narc. And you know what, I screw the PPC. I, I, I don't care about the peep right now. I wanna hit the Narc with a better hit chance. So we can stack on that next round. Also, SRMs, baby. Can't see his information though. Holy crap. <laughs> oh no. It's getting hot though. Yeah, let's go. We have a 55% chance to hit him with a melee attack. We certainly want to go for the kick. And I'm going for the kick specifically because we hit lag only with the kicks. And I want to drop him. And here comes the Narc misses. PPC misses. Oh, oh don't blow him. Don't blow him up. I'm here for stuff. Okay. We didn't get stuff. But we won. Man, this kind of environment makes it so tough, especially when your pilots don't have a hit chance to begin with. It's so crazy. But it makes it so interesting to play, man. Every single hit counts. Every single missile that you get on point, may it be only five damage or three or two, it matters. Uh, especially when the enemies don't have a million points of armor, when you, I don't know, shred... 10% of the armor away with a single missile hit. It's good. So, basically no money. Ugh, that's a lot of, lot of repair. Huh. Funky. Alright, we have to disassemble. ER medium lasers. Oh, interesting. That is very interesting. The ER smalls as well. We get 15 damage for 6 heat. At a pretty decent range before only half a ton. What I think I'm gonna go for is the XL engine though. Oh, another double heat sink kit, huh? Oh, that opens up things, that opens up possibilities. Oh, do we go XL or do we go. Do we go double heat sinks? What's better here? We, we, we lack both currently. I think the double heatsink kit could go on the Hermes. 
And then we can drop the auto cannon for the maybe large pulse laser and maybe maybe a double ER large combination or something. I think I like this more. XL is definitely an option. Endo Steel is a great option. Pharaoh is a great option. But I think this gives us more DPS currently. We're gonna get some good random salvage on top of that. So, what do we get? One part of a Hermes. We got a C3I. I mean, sure, it's good. It's fine. Good old basic cockpit for massive value. Yeah, let's sell it. <laughs> we have a mask as well, which I'm not gonna use. Ever. Probably. So this is money for me. Problem is it's high um, fail chance. 5% base chance, 15% additional fail chance. It's so much. And we wouldn't get so much out of it anyways. Yeah, it's money for me. And another basic sensor. We have zero, so I'm gonna keep that. Because sometimes you want to override primitive stuff. Cool. That was good. I will actually take a look at Hermes now. Because Hermes could need some love as well. But then there's the other option, bringing the Chameleon to life. It's 10 tons heavier. It is the better investment, hands down. We would run the standard engine on uh, the Chameleon. We would run the double heat sinks, but the Chameleon has a lot of energy hard points. Har. Har. Making this our dedicated, like, mid-range energy boat or something. I can totally see this guy running the uh, double ER large setup. Plus some mediums, if needed. Kind of want to do that. Okay, so here we go. Huh. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Guys. Oh, hold up. Hermes is still in repair. Ah, crap, 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 crap. So we're gonna keep the fire started, that's for sure. How do we manage this? I need to think. First and foremost, we need the third mech bay, uh, and the third mech bay requires us to get structural reinforcements. It's 30 days and 300,000. Ooh, it's so long. It's so damn long. This is 20 days. It gives us a tech point as well. Alright, we're gonna go with the tech point first. It's all of our money. Oh, it hurts. But getting the third mech bay is so damn necessary. Because it, it, it drops our upkeep so much. Because we can repair three mechs at the same time. Let me think about it. Can we sell a thing? The answer is no. We can possibly drop the chameleon and actually stick with the Hermes. How much is the chameleon worth? Okay, give me give me money. 117. In this instance, it's just I need money now, and it's actually it wouldn't have been worth the picks. It w would have been a bad investment in terms of like salvage picks. So it feels bad dropping it now. I'm not gonna do it then. We will hold we will hold on to our money, in that case. But we will build something so that our Mechtex, or our engineering squad, is busy, and we're gonna get something done that is extremely cheap. A tech point for 10 days and 132? Sure, we need the refit harness at some point anyway, so we'll take it now. Alright, so we have 172 still. Okay, here goes nothing, guys. We need to wait 8 days. Oh boy. Hermes is ready. Good. Wanna do a thing. Hermes? Get over here. So, we know that we have a reckless pilot on this guy, who is currently training. And that reckless pilot... Yes. Oh, absolutely. Um, is actually uh, quite good, because he has evasion ignore. And we're gonna put that evasion ignore to good use. Why is this auto cannon on, on the side and not on the arm? We have a lower arm here. We are missing out on a plus one accuracy bonus, like, all the time. But here's the point. Um, currently a 240 rated engine, that's fine. Uh, I think I'll drop the auto cannon. It's too heavy. Um, we're gonna drop the lasers as well, because they're too heavy. And here's what we do. I'll put the double heat sink kit right here. We need an extra double heat sink, so that we are at a minimum of 10. Ooh, we got endo. We could. And I will. 
Because I want to max the armor on this guy. Kabam! There we go. So, drop a little bit here, a little bit here, and a little bit here. Perfect. Now we have 10 tons to work with. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we're gonna shift some things around. Oh, it's another eight days though. Ooh, it hurts. It hurts so much. But it is totally worth it. Do we have any fire control systems? There is one. There is an improved fire control system that we got. I don't know when. Um. Yeah, we're gonna shift some things around. Can you hold the taser? Just asking. No, not like this. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So, eight days for this. We have to do a cycle. But I think it's gonna be so damn worth it. Uh, okay, so the first thing that we are gonna do is... Uh, yeah, we're gonna wait. We have to. <laughs> you will see, you will see. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, Harold? Harold, you wanna get athletic? Sure, do it. Super good. He's now a bit more resistant. Bonus health, faster fatigue recovery. I love it. It's really good. Come on. I click the button. There we go. So the first thing that we need is actually the Kintaro back online. So that we can shift some things around. Um, Mech Bay. Here we go. I have an idea, and I like it. So currently the Kentaro is running uh, a PPC because I wanted to make use of the of the heat management that we got here, right? Two tons of SRM ammo, and we would still run out of it in long missions. Eh, I know. But the PPC has a minimum distance, and these SRMs, they want to be close, so this is kind of like a counterproductive range juggle. What if... What if we put some... Uh, Heavy laser, medium expulse combo in here? Right? Oh, I just realized. It doesn't uh, It doesn't quite work how I, how I like it. But hey, it's fine. So with that, uh, we have a bit more like close range punch. I know we are lacking the, the long range. We don't really have any options there anymore. But we still have a bunch of double heat sinks. <laughs> I say a bunch and it doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. Crap. I mean, I can get another ton of ammo in there. What about these guys? Oh, they have recoil. Oh, I don't like the recoil, man. It's so bad. The narc is still fine. I like it here. We lose the long range. Okay. Anyways. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put the, the 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 mediums in there then we're gonna go with the large poles instead so we have no minimum range on this thing it still has a very good maximum range it ignores evasion and uh, it has plus one accuracy way better than the PPC on this guy to be sure yes absolutely we're at zero heat currently hmm I wish I could put a bit more ammo in this guy. It's fine. It's totally fine. So, we got the large poles in here. Freeing up the PPC. Hmm? Alright. So, now, we're gonna wait for the Hermes. Zibbity, 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 zip. Refit harness complete. Um, sure, we're gonna wait a day. There we go. Hermes is ready. And we're gonna put the just freed up PPC into that Hermes, which has a pilot, again, that has evasion ignored, which means we're gonna make so much use out of that pinpoint damage by just being a little bit more accurate. All right, here we go. Ah, uh, we got the PPC here. We still have the cooling. Perfect. Negative 30. And we have, um, where is it? We have an ER large laser that we're gonna put on the other side. It doesn't work. Too heavy but it's still better okay all right have a ppc and the medium x pulse that is it sure negative 12 heat shall we go machine guns uh no no i don't think so 
Did we make the mech even better? Did we? Kind of doubt it. I do like the PPC here. Hmm. We could go double ER large and just drop the PPC altogether. Yeah, that is exactly 10 tons. And that is the heat that we need. Yes. Yes, he's gonna get the heat bank for an additional 10 cooling. We are at negative 34. This is a 35 heat... No, 36 heat weapon. We're gonna get the ER large laser out of the whacker and um, put something else in there. Okay, so we're getting there. We're getting there. Again, it's a bit of a cycle here. So now we're gonna get to the to the Wakaroni. There we go. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It's gonna be totally worth it, guys. The SLDF fire control system, I think it needs to be the uh, improved one. Because the gunnery is gonna be helping with the jam chance on the stuff. Uh, has a 6% jam chance mitigated by gunnery. Again, it's what we get here. Uh, I wanna keep the auto cannon. Ooh. Oh, actually, hold up. We have the ultralight gyro. Yes. We can put a PPC in there. Ha ha! Now look at that. We still have a lot of heat management. A lot of it. Negative 21. Drop this. Now we're better. Yeah. Looking good. So, and then we need to decide which of the other mechs is gonna get the night vision. And uh, we are good to go. So, again, it's a little bit of shifting around. Um, the Waka is now, like, full long range with a lot of minimum distance situations. But that's okay. Um, who's gonna get the night vision? I think the Kintaro because it has the most damage output after the, after the Waka. So we're gonna give it to you, my friend. It makes the most sense to get you a little bit more accuracy. I cannot wait to get into the next mission, guys. I, I know we have been we have been fiddling around with this like a while now, but uh, it's gonna be all right. So this is the order. In three days, we're ready. Okay. One more thing. Hermes needs the secondary weapon, and then we are good to go. Oh boy. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm excited. Oh god, I love the early game. So, again, ER Large goes here. We are slightly under our heat management, but that's alright. There's nothing that we can really do. Basic, primitive, everything is bad. Yeah, I, I think it's good, guys. It's good. Okay, ready to go. Oh boy! I do like that we have arm... Um, actuators here to actually help with the accuracy of our lasers. This is going to be very helpful. Also, we need money! Look at that. 444,000 sea bills. I could probably destroy Bay, but then we would run into such a long mission again. Let's play a battle. One skull. Here we go. In the jungle. It's for Marek. It's important. Hmm. So, we probably want this. It's just enough money. Are we fine with just enough? No, nah, we're not. Oh, it hurts so much. I want to get the salvage. Ah, oh, there will be something good here. I can feel it. Let's go half. Let's go 2 out of 11 and 621,000. It's fine. So... Here we go! Hermes, get in there. Firestarter, get in there. I'm excited about the Firestarter, man. You cannot even imagine. So, Lefay, go here. We need to find something to for Yuki Ona to run. Seriously. So important, man. So important. We have one tank slot. Actually, two tank slots. So we could shift some things around and put Yuki on a, on a mech at some point. But right now, we're going in. Into the jungle! Alright, guys. All systems nominal. Um, hmm... We're playing this wonderful, wonderful open map, it seems. And, uh, yes, we have some enemies here. I would say we're gonna drop right on the roll because we got some short rangers who want to get close as quickly as possible. Let me see what we are facing here and uh, see if we can win this. So we got some bad... That's a, that's a lamb. It's a Warhammer lamb? That is a one-skull mission, everybody. 
Holy crap. I am not prepared for this. How are we gonna hit this guy? Um, and we also got a commander on the back. Um, anybody else? No. Um, I, I guess we're gonna let him come close. Right? Do we, do we push this? I, I'm not sure, man. I am not sure. I will. God, what do we do? We have no cover as well. We have friends, though. Oh, wait. Light Gauss rifle. Light Gauss rifle on the Hermes. And another main gauge with a light Gauss rifle. Oh, that's good. Long range fire support. We gotta, we gotta move. We gotta move. We gotta move. We gotta move. I will. Oh, God, this is crazy dangerous. Let's go down here and brace. Fall back, my friends. I don't want to uh, expose my back to this guy. That's the thing. Fire starter can jump. Nice. Seven evasion. That's really good. Commando as well. Yeah. Let him, let him do the thing there. Whatever. I don't care. We want to consolidate with our friends so we have some meat shields who might get shot instead of us. Okay. Oh no, he's so fast. Oh, 11 evasion. And did you see how many weapons he has? <laughs> no. Okay, the fight is on. Yeah, what do we do? Are we just dying? I also didn't set the narc to the top. It's 12% chance. Is it gonna get any better than that? I could try to drop some missiles, but I think... I guess we have to possibly wait for him to make a mistake and eat the first barrage? Oh no. Come on. Yeah, good job. Good job doing nothing. <laughs> it's fine though. <laughs> the Jin battle armor. Is it only three mechs or is it... Oh, there might be a stealthy guy. Yeah, we have to wait. It hurts me. It's gonna hurt me. Energy double... D missile double... Ah! Uh, oh, yes, of course, he has, like, wing-mounted stuff. High explosive bombs or something. However, he's getting a lot of heat. He jumped, which makes him hard to hit, but it's better than it was before. I'm gonna go for it. We shake off the stability, and we just hope that the narc hits. Come on! No narc. Good amount of missile damage, though. <gasps> we made him unsteady! We made him unsteady! Everybody go! Uh, also, tag to the front. Here we go. Attack him now! That's what you get! Light cows! No dice! Actually, I, th I think we might have hit. Wait, wait, wait. Mm, 55 armor damage. Yes, we did it! Uh, also, this guy seems to be not a heavy mech. Yeah, it's it's a medium. It's a medium mech. Okay, it's not like a real like Warhammer 70 ton structure on with wings. It is something smaller. And that's good. That is very good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm, yes, so we will try to attack him even further. Precision ammo, standard. Let's go. If we can lag him, it would be fantastic. Okay. The large lasers from the Hermes. Oh, I like it. Come on. Another leg. Oh my god, I wish I went for more salvage. This is it's always that, right? It's always that. Can we get a side attack? No. Actually, if we sprint. Nah. It's a no on everything here. So we go in from the front once more. We got him legged. Mm! Yes! Oh! On the ground with you! And death? No. Oh, but the fall damage went to the head. Yeah, man. One more hit on the leg and we, we have him. He cannot have a lot there. Jin. Uh, Lefay with the mediums. Now, the actual question is, how many of these lasers do we shoot? One is enough to destroy. But I don't want to completely destroy him. So it's a bit of a gamble. Three. Not enough, but we got a punch out! Woo! All right. All righty, boys. 
So, still. Ah, I wanted to say, there might be a stealthy mech, but we destroyed 33% of the lands already. That means we have three enemies on the battlefield. One is the battle armor squad, one is the commando in the back, which seems to be stuck. He's not coming any closer. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think we got this. Still, I don't know what the Jinns are able to do, but they have little armor, so they should be able to get killed quickly. I'm shooting everything. I don't even care. I just want to get out of here now. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, yep. Let's do it. Fire. Good hit. One of them is almost down. Should I even go closer? They might surprise me with a... With a claw attack. I mean, you need to. You want to get into your optimal range. Size Delta is a problem. But hey, we got one unit out of the squad. That's already pretty good. We seem to have some energy weapons. You know what? I feel like these are not really doing a lot. They are also very slow. This time we have no sensors, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Look at all of these negative effects. I... I mean, we can shoot. There was a 4.7% chance to hit the tag at the very least. Missiles. Wait. Oh, it's the commando. It's this is a rock. This is a rocket commando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should be careful. So he dropped the minefield on us. I think it's fine. We can wear him down with the long range. Our short range guys can now deal with the battle armor. And the long range guys are gonna deal with the commando without getting close. Um, let's shoot here first, though. Another five damage. It's the war of attrition. Sure. Blap. Okay. I want to not move anymore. Because I don't want to take any unnecessary damage. I think we have it in the bag at that point. It's just... Just a question of how fast can we destroy the battle armor and then deal with the commando. Yeah, the commando is not doing anything. He is stuck. We can just snipe him down. It's fine. Actually, is this too risky? Yeah, I think it is. Again, stand and shoot. No risk. <laughs> no hit. Uh, I mean, little guys, hard to hit. They're only three tons. Come on, what can they do? By the way, our friends have not been particularly helpful with their light gulls rifle shots. I get it, it's far away. Small targets. Yeah. Sure. It is okay. Okay. Ugh. No sensors, huh? Come on, we need to get more tactics. Or better sensors. <sighs> Fire everything anyways. Not even a single hit. Okay. Good. Nothing we could have done. Here come the little guys. Um, It's not that many mines. Or I shoot the guy in the back. Yeah, let's go. We are not in range for the PPC, by the way. But, yeah. We got a good chunk of... Of... Of, uh, commando. <laughs> Off of the commando. 21%. Mm. This is a lot of mines that I would run over. We're pinned! I'm not gonna do it. Uh, Commando, I think, just punched out. Yeah. Pilot ejected. Good to see. So we just have to deal with the battle armor at that point. Which I hope is gonna work at some point. Let's get the fire starter out of here. So we can then uh, attack next round. From another angle. Maybe just surrounding them, getting a flank attack or a back strike is getting a bit of a hit chance in. There we go. Fire everything! Nice! We dealt 14 damage. Alright. I think a faster way to get these guys down is... If I let them climb onto my mechs and then swat them, it <laughs> would be better, probably. Alright. Good. Down they go. I was scared for a second, but 
we managed to get it done. Holy crap. A lamb in that situation with the, with the bombs and everything? Oh boy. Oh boy. But we did it. Now let's take a look at what we can get. Two picks is what we got. Oh, I knew it. The moment I'm going for low salvage, we're going to get something very interesting in front of. We would have been able to get him. No, we wouldn't have. No, no, no. Let's not be delusional. That was 4 out of 19. This thing needs 26 total picks. So 19 is lower than 26. We wouldn't have gotten him. I could take the commando. If I wanted rockets. I'm going to say no. We disassemble. We'll take the goodies. We could take part of a Warhammer lamb. But when will we ever see another one? Light PPC, you say. It's good. It is actually quite good. For the range of it. And the evasion ignore. And the stacking ECM jam. Hmm. I'm thinking about light PPCs on the Kentaro. But oh, they have this minimum range thing again. Let's not. Let's not do it. Uh, weapon bay, irrelevant. Ooh, now that is something I like to see. That is a defensive gyro, 100% take. Uh, and maybe another double heat sink. Or, we're gonna start picking stuff for our potential lamb that's gonna come online at some point. And hellfire missiles and cluster bombs in the bay. On top of these wing-mounted high explosive bombs. That was dangerous. So the double heatsink kit would immediately help us. This is an investment. I think Lamb XL Engine is the right call here because we will find more double heatsinks kit easily. This is rare. Like really rare. So we're gonna go for the XL. Maybe we get the other thing anyways. <laughs> All right. Game wants me to build a Lamb obviously. We got three parts of the Warhammer Lamb. We got an SRM2, we got regular armor. Do we need another one? No, we can sell it. Um, single heat sinks. Actually, I will keep them. A lamp booster and an XL engine, as well as half a ton of SRM ammo. Not bad. We might want to do something with that in the Kintaro because I feel like we are a little low there. But anyway, guys, that was fun. That was the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed this one today. A bit of rebuilding, a little bit of trying out new stuff, and I think it works. So if you enjoyed the episode, leave a rating, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.